welcome back to Algebra 1 half. Today we were talking about area. This is your last lesson before your test. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> area is something that you should always already be familiar with, but just in case you're not, we're going to review how we get the concept of area. Area is the space inside of an object. So let's say I have this rectangle here that we're going to say it's three feet by four feet. If I were to divide it up into perfect squares, I would have three perfect squares going down, four perfect squares going across. So each row has four squares, and I have three rows of those squares. So if I count it up, I have four plus four plus four, or three groups of four, which is three times four. So altogether, that would be 12 squares. So the area inside is 12 feet. So from that, I get my formula, that area is length times width. It's the length of your um, shape, your object, your figure, times the width of your, of your figure. Typically, we say the length is the longest side, so the bigger number, and your width is the smaller number. It doesn't really matter because the order doesn't really matter when you are multiplying, so don't worry too much about that. But that's the formula for the area of a rectangle. Area of a rectangle is length times width. Now in my class, whenever you do a figure, this is a figure, these shapes, okay? When you are solving area, perimeter, volume, surface area, you'll get to those things a little later. Whenever you are solving um, something for a figure, you must, 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 Start with the formula. If you are not writing out your formula, off with your head. <sighs> okay, so make sure that you are writing your formula, please. You must be writing your formula, and I'll show you what you're supposed to do, okay? So let's look at this problem right here. Just my chair. Okay, so here I have another rectangle. I have two feet and three feet. So that means that it's two feet across and three feet down. My formula to find the area of this space is length times width. Now, before we get started, I want to find the area of this shape, but I want to find the area of my shape in inches, not in feet. I want to find it in inches. So, that means that I need to change my units first. Now, listen to this. Listen to what the problem says so that you don't miss it in your own problems. It says, how many one inch square floor tiles would it take to cover this figure? Oops, let me also back up right there for a second. When you're doing area, you're working with squares. The idea is that you're finding out how many squares would fit inside an object, squares of a certain unit. So this one, it was squares of feet. Because of that, when you are done, your unit for area always has to be squared, meaning you write that little exponent above it, the little two. If you forget that, then your um, answer is incorrect. You have to have that um, exponent with your unit. All right, so this would be 12 feet squared for the area. So we're gonna be doing the same thing over here. I wanna know how many one inch, one inch square floor tiles would it take to cover this figure? My units are right now in feet, so I have to change them so that they're in inches. Well, how many inches are in a foot? 12, so I have to convert my two feet to inches by multiplying it by 12. So how many um, inches would it be? 24, very good, so I have 24 inches. And how many would this one be? 36 inches, very good. Now I can solve my problem. I write out my formula, the area is length times width. Then I plug it in. My length is 36 and my width is 24. And I multiply 36 by 24 and that gives me 864. So with my units, it would be 864 inches squared. So you always need to set up your problem exactly like this. Formula, plug in your numbers, find your solution. Okay? Let's look at this one. I want to know the area of this figure. Is this one rectangle? 
No, it's not. It's like if I put two rectangles together. So to find the area, I have to separate it into rectangle and find their individual areas and add it together. I can separate this two ways. I could separate it like this and have those two rectangles. This one right here and this one over here in white. Or I could separate it like this. and have this rectangle up here and this rectangle down there. It does not matter where you want to separate it for this particular one. Sometimes it will matter only because you won't necessarily have enough information. So let's say I did not have um, this two here or this four here. I wouldn't want to separate it like this because I wouldn't know exactly how much this piece was or how much this piece was. So it only will matter if you are missing some information. But since I have plenty of information for this one, it does not matter where I choose to separate my rectangles. I'm gonna separate it like this for now, okay? So I'm gonna find this first area. It is length times width. My unit, according to my book, is centimeters. So my length is four, not six. Six is from the top all the way to the bottom, but I'm cutting it off here. So it's going from here to here, which I know is four. So my length is four, or my width, doesn't really matter. And the other one is four. So my area is four times four. Area equals 16 centimeters cubed. Okay, down here I have same formula, length times width. We can just stick the letters right next to each other. That means multiplication. My length is 12 and my width is 2. 12 times 2 equals 24 centimeters squared. So area equals 24 centimeters squared. I'm not quite done yet because I need to find the total area. So I have to add this 16 to the 24. So my 16 plus 24 gives me a total area of 40 centimeters squared. Okay? Pause now and do your practice. Okay, you should be back with your practice. Uh, give me one second here. Forgot to look up your answers before I started this video. So mean. Okay, here we are at problem set 17. Okay, so letter A. And I dropped it. I'm back. Okay, so letter A should be 12 feet squared. 12 feet squared. You divided that into two rectangles. You got um, that one would have been four feet squared, the other one would have been 8 feet squared, so together that is 12 feet squared. Okay, then for letter B, just give me a moment here. So you should have 25 feet squared because you have um, well, there's any number of rectangles that you could have divided this into. If you divided it into one long rectangle at the bottom, that one long rectangle at the bottom would have given you um, 10 feet squared. Then the little uh, square with three times three would be nine, and the other one is six. Add that all together, you get 25 feet squared. All right, and then letter C would be 84 feet squared. Again, there's a bunch of different rectangles you could have drawn um, for this one, divided that into, but all in all, it should have given you 24 feet squared. Or excuse me, 80, let's try that again. 84 feet squared, 84 feet squared. Okay, let me know if you have any questions about finding area.